Hi everybody, I'm Ron. I'm Judy. And we're Full Time Dream. And we've got a new DIY project to do. Stay tuned. Alright, so welcome back. So today we're going to do another install video. Uh, Rec Pro had seen our install of our couches that we had purchased and they liked the video. So Rec Pro reached out to us and asked if there was any other do-it-yourself uh, videos that we were interested in doing to let them know and they could send us a product. There wasn't really anything that we really wanted to do on our motorhome. I'm sure there was if we really looked, but my brother's been wanting a dinette for his camper, so for all the things that he does for me, I decided to get him a dinette for his camper if they would do that, and they did. That we were able to get the dinette and a table, and we're going to do the install and get rid of his table and chairs that he's hated for the past couple years. Okay, this is Judy, Judy's brother Jim, and he was in one of our other videos. We are going to upgrade the dining room. Finally. Finally. <laughs> it's very uncomfortable. So we're going to take out the table first, and then we're going to unwrap the Rec Pro stuff. Bolt the table from the floor. We're checking the length of the screws that stick through the bottom to make sure we don't go too far with the new screws that hold the dinette. And we're looking at three quarters of an inch off the bottom. We're going to open it up, take a look, and let's get this thing installed. Because you can't read directions, it says no sharp instruments. We are going to very gently open it with a knife. <laughs> Not sticking the blade in more than a little bit. Very nice. Those are nice reusable bags too. Oh. They got a drawstring on them and everything. So this color is oatmeal. This is a 40 inch dinette. I think believe they start at 32 inches and go up in two inch increments. Okay. It's got brackets that hold the back. Uh, so I'm assuming they give you the hardware inside the box somewhere. All brackets. Okay. They give you an Allen wrench in the kit so you can tighten these because they're Allen head bolts. Now when he measured these we had to make sure that the backs and everything cleared his balances and on the side here and then when his slide comes in he's also got a plug over here that he needed to make sure that was gonna clear. Okay. I think it fits good. Fits nice. Trying to find the holes. Yeah. These are holes are covered a little bit by the material. By the material, yep. Uh, we've got a problem with this one bolt. It won't go through the hole. I don't know if it's due to the paint on the bracket or what, but it's very, very tight and I don't want to cross thread it. So I'm just going to clean up the hole a little bit. There we go. Didn't take much. One quick tip, put them all in before you start tightening them. Because once you tighten one, if the other one doesn't line up, then you'll have a hard time lining it up because it, the it won't float and move. So just make sure you put them all in first, just finger tight, and then give them a little snug. You don't want to go crazy. Just get them nice and tight. Alrighty. Now we're going to put it, this one in the position, and we're going to close the slide to make sure everything's good. 
and make sure it clears the valence so we can open it up for the storage underneath. Okay, perfect fit. That's good. Okay, it will work. Now we just have to get everything square and bolt everything down. So what do we got here? Okay, we're going to install our brackets now so we can bolt it down to the floor. If you feel underneath the felt, there is a, a bar, wood bar, running right across right here. So we got bought these L brackets and we're going to put them in right along the bottom. We're going to pre-drill our holes. Obviously my little magnet on my bit isn't working very well. Okay, now there's a brace running up and down here. Same thing over here, there's a brace right here. So we're gonna put another bracket in there. Okay, we're in position. Now we're gonna take and uh, screw our brackets to the floor so it doesn't move around. Three inches, we're right back where we're supposed to be. Make sure we're square. Ow. <laughs> Damn it, I keep, <laughs> I keep missing when he hits his head. Well, that's what happened when we tried to drill through the carpet. So we're not going to pre-drill, we're just going to run the screws in and hope for the best. Since it's plywood, it's probably not going to split. You want to make sure you're using the right length screws so you don't drill through your slide and we're gonna go outside take a look make sure the screws aren't coming through the slide we're only using one inch screws but with the carpet and the bracket and three quarter inch plywood we should have more than enough room and not come through the bottom now we're gonna do the same thing for the other side and then uh, we'll get put the table together the only thing we were concerned about is that you can hear it banging around a lot in the box when they delivered it and stuff so we're hoping nothing it's packed pretty good. Uh, so now we're going to install our table. I'm looking, these are the brackets that go on the underside of the table. Because he wanted two legs. Because I wanted two legs. Uh, just because one leg, the table sits there, and with a table this long, it's going to wobble back and forth. And I didn't want that, so we're finding the center point of the table. It's 30 and 1 16th, so we're just going to go 15 inches to the center point. Uh, the table lengthwise is 40 inches. So we're going to try to figure out here. So 20 inches would be half. 20 inches would be half. So there's your center point right there. Okay, you got 20 inches. So you're looking at 10 inches. And 10 inches. So we are going to center our legs. Yeah, I'm going to pre-drill these holes. Let's pre-drill and get our brackets bolted on. Okay, I'm going to pre-drill the holes. Just real lightly, because you don't want to go too deep and then come through the other side of the table and find out when you flip it over you have a hole in your table. Now the table is an inch and a quarter thick, so we're going to use three quarter inch screws which won't come through the back side. I'm going to say that material is going to be hard as heck. 
Yes, it is. We might have to drill a little bit bigger hole. Oh. I wonder if there's a if it's hollow in the center. You know what I'm saying is if if there's like a. Alrighty, one down, one to go. Instead of having the legs completely center to center on both directions, we, um, we did, decided to go with the front one farther out towards the end of the table so it's easier to get around it with your legs when you're getting into the, the booth. It, it, just, it just felt like the wood isn't as thick there as it is on the inside. Yeah, it isn't. It's very thin right there. Maybe you should center it. Okay. So the three on that side went in really good, and the three on that's that right. side the, the wood's right thin. In. The wood's thinner here. Yeah. But so if you're gonna have kids or. A lot of use of up and downs and banging, you might want to put them center to center. We just did this so that it would be easier for to get in and out of the booth. Very nice. Okay, for the cushions to go onto the back, there's a Velcro, there's a Velcro that goes across the back of the, the cushion. There's also a, a, a thing on the back of the Velcro that you take off that's protecting the Velcro so that it's not messed up when your cushion comes. There's a zipper on the bottom. Take it, you push the thing back up into place. And there you have it. Just that easy. I am liking it. It'll make, make uh, breakfast, lunch, and dinner much more comfortable. And then we also have an extra sleeping area too, because we only have we only have the queen size bed in here because we took out our hide a sofa. Okay, so instead of a do it yourself, it was a do it himself. We had Jim go ahead and put install the dinette himself. Uh, we want to thank Rec Pro again for supplying the, the dinette for us to do the video, and we have a. 5% discount code that's in our description down below and we have the if you are wondering about what kind of colors you want they'll ship you out a swat or swatches for one dollar and if you like the video give us a thumbs up leave some comments down below if you haven't yet go ahead and subscribe it doesn't cost you anything and till we do the next one bye now